So hey guys, what is up? It is Luigi's Gaming here, and I'm going to be showing you my controller settings for Super Mario Galaxy. You know, we I use my PlayStation controller uh, while I'm playing this series, I, or I've been using a PlayStation controller while I've been playing this series. So, and you know, I've had a lot of comments saying, well, what's your controller settings, because I don't understand how you did this, blah, 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 blah. And I said I was going to wait until the end of the series, but honestly, like, who knows if I'll finish the series. I, you know, I, I hope I can, but um, if I don't, then, well, I'm, that's why I'm making this video so everyone out there knows how to do it. So, if you don't know how to set up or connect your PS4 controller to your computer, I'll have a link in the description on how to do that. Um, it'll be... I don't know. I'll use some video I think that I used to learn how to do it. Um, and it won't be long. It'll probably be around two minutes. It's not that difficult. Um, you'll find. But um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to what you need to do to connect uh, or to have the correct settings for Super Mario Galaxy. So you want to make sure that your Wii Remote 1 is an emulated Wii Remote, not a real one. And... Um, obvious, for obvious reasons, you're using a PS4 controller, you're not actually using a Wii Remote. Um, now make sure you're not changing anything up here. You're not using a GameCube controller because Super Mario Galaxy doesn't use a GameCube controller. It uses a Wii Remote and a Nunchuck. So you're going to make, you're going to want to make sure your Wii Remote 1 is on emulated Wii Remote. So I'm going to go ahead and click Configure. And it pops up this little box right here, and I'm going to extend it out just a little bit. Um, and this is your general and option. So um, for my A button, it says button 1, but I used X for A. For B, on the X on my PS4 controller. That's what I used um, for A. B was... I'm pretty sure it's L2. I'm not sure. It now, like I said, it or now it doesn't matter what button you set these for. You can set it to whatever you want. You can make A your. You can make A R1 if you really wanted to, but I mean, I mean no one. <laughs> I mean no one's really gonna do that. Um, but I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. You can set this to however you like it. Um, but these are just mine. And I think one, okay, so what do you use one for? I don't even think you use one in Super Mario Galaxy. I just, I don't even know what these are. Like I said, put them as, you can keep fiddle, fiddling around with it until it says button 5 or button 4. I am using a generic PS4 controller, so you can just keep pressing around until you get these. Like I said, I have no idea. Like, I, it's been so long since I've set these that... I, I don't even know what these buttons are, except for the main ones that I use. Now, my subtract button is the share button on my PS4 controller, and the plus button is my options button. And the main home menu is the big button in the middle of the controller. Now, to D-pad, I put all of them to button 4, and you'll see why later on um, I didn't put it as my directional pad on my controller. Um, I put them, I think, L1. I put that. Um, now, this is very important for later on. You're going to want to make sure your extension over here is on Nunchuck. If it's on Classic Controller, Guitar, whatever, you want to make sure it's on Nunchuck. Because if it's not on Nunchuck, that means you won't be able to move around. You won't be able to long jump. I mean, you won't be able to play the game, basically. So, you want Nunchuck to be selected and also just... I guess check this box. Now moving on to motion simulation. This is where you get your little star pointer to work in game. Um, so this is this is probably the most confusing section out of everything. You know, you probably know how to do general and options. Um, most um, most of you probably know how to do general and options. So shake. Um, it really does not matter. For X, Y, and Z, um, having three different binds. I use the same bind for all of them because it will do the exact same action in my game. Now, if you're playing another game with motion and it actually uses the X, Y, Z uh, coordinates, then you can set them to three different binds. But for Mario Galaxy, I would just use one bind. And that bind is my left analog stick. I 
just press down on my analog and it shakes my it shakes Mario. So for pointer, um, if you like your pointer to be on your left analog instead of your right, then you could do your left one. But if you like it on your right, which most people do, um, this is how I do it. I just you just click up and you and you just press up on your PS4 controller on your right analog. So you go up, then you go down, left, right, etc. Um, and it should work. Um, I and you might have to press calibrate. Um, I don't know. I don't think I pressed calibrate. Um, just make sure. Oh, and by the way, make sure you hit refresh if none of your like if you're hitting a button and it's not like registering. Just hit refresh a couple times and make sure you're on D input wireless controller and not keyboard and mouses. A keyboard and mouse or whatever um, because if you're on keyboard and mouse obviously it won't register what you're hitting with your ps4 controller but yeah with your pointer just go up down left right on your right analog and you should be good it should work um, and your pointer thingy should be able to activate now with tilt this is why I said not to use your directional pad for your what you might call it your d-pad tilting in mario galaxy um is very important when you're playing the level with the ball in or, or the star inside the ball and you're moving around on those you know the, the the golf course level for example you have to use tilt control so what i did with that is i used my directional pad as my tilt control so when i'm playing that level I just I hit on when I hit up arrow Mario goes forward when I go back Mario goes back even though he goes like uh, one centimeter a second um, <laughs> which is you know I don't know why that's like that but it is um, then left and right is left and right on the d-pad so of your PS4 controller. So make sure your tilt is on your D-pad, and if you don't want it on your D-pad, then just find four buttons to use it. And honestly, I don't know what other four buttons you could use, so that's why I suggest doing it on your D-pad. And plus, I I think you only need to hit one button anyway, so like zoom in, because the D-pad on Super Mario Galaxy, like zooming in with camera angles... Um, I think you only really need to hit one button, and that's why I only have it to one button. So, um, yeah. Moving on to extension. Now, motion input, I don't think any of this really matters. I didn't mess with it. If any of these settings are different, um, then I would just change them to what I have. But they shouldn't be different because I think these are all default. But anyways, moving on to extension. Now, uh, for your up, down, left, right, Make it your left or right analog, whatever you like to do to move Mario around. I personally use my left analog, so you just click here, you go up, then you click there, go down, left, right, etc. Now, I didn't do anything because my controller is dead and it's not plugged in, so um, yeah. Uh, modifier does not matter, I don't think. I didn't mess with it ever, so I wouldn't mess with it, and I don't have any dead zone on. Um, now, for buttons C and Z. I think I think C is the big button on the back of the nunchuck. If it's the little one, then, well, it's the little one. And I never use it, I don't think. So um, that really doesn't matter. But Z, if, what, whichever one long jumps Mario and makes him do the black back flips and all like the cool tricks, I use my L2 button. Um, I can't remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure... You know what? I think it's actually Z now that I think about it. Because they have it going from up to down. And I know the bottom one was the biggest button. So I think... Yeah, yeah. I have button four for two things. So it has to be Z. Um, yeah, so Z is um, L2 on my Xbox. And I think it's LT on... Um, or, did I just say L2 on Xbox? L2 on PS4. Extension, motion simulation, it looks like I didn't do anything here. Also, um, if any of these are different on your screen, I would just change them to what I have. But I think these are all default. Pretty sure they're all default. 
And for this one, also, I didn't do anything with, so that, this one's, I don't, I mean, just don't mess with it, because I don't think I messed with it at all. So, that's it. Um, that's how I did mine. If it doesn't work for you, then I really don't know. I just got lucky one night when I was, you know, thinking about doing this series, and I was like, hey, this actually works. And uh, we did the series, so we're, we're doing the series right now. So, you know, it works, it, you know, works for me. Um, if you, you can copy my settings completely, um, and it should work. I mean, it, it should work. Um, now, I will say, if you're using Input Mapper, I don't think it'll connect to your Dolphin. I was using Input Mapper one time for Fortnite, just playing on controller, just messing around, and uh, I went to go play Dolphin, and it didn't work, and I didn't know why my controller wasn't working, and it was because of Input Mapper. So just make sure your Input Mapper is off. Yeah, you closed your program. If you have input mapper, if you don't have input, if you don't have input mapper and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then just ignore me. But if you have input mapper and it's on and it's not working, then that's another reason why it it's not working. Just con just turn input mapper off and then reconnect your controller um, via your Bluetooth. Normally, don't don't open input mapper. It should it should blink for maybe five seconds and then it'll just turn a color when it's connected. So. Make sure it's not on Input Mapper, like I said. No Input Mapper. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I did. I didn't do anything else. Um, if you guys have any questions, just post them in the comments. I'll be reading them um, for questions. Um, like I said, it's just it's been about four months since I've set these settings. And unfortunately, it doesn't tell me what exact button I used. So... Um, yeah, that kind of sucks, but... By the way, I just noticed, um... <laughs> I have button four for four, or for, like, three different keybinds. So... Two, and whatever this other one was... Hold on, let me find it. C. Um, two and C do nothing, because I have never... I've hit, I always hit that button to zoom in, and it's never done anything else, so, yeah, I mean, I, the, I went over the main binds I used, and the rest, it's up to you if you really want to use two, which I don't even think does anything, like I said, I, I think it does nothing, I think one does nothing as well, um, you can set those to whatever you want, but like, uh, but yeah, so, if you guys, um, you guys like tutorial videos and you want to see more from me then leave a thumbs up and tell me what thing you want me to show you how to do next um if it's how to install minecraft mods because i know i uploaded a video like four years ago how to uh, on how to install minecraft mods and it was it's a bad video um i actually don't know if it's still up or not i might have privated it but if i i might have privated the video but if i didn't then you can go still watch it, and it, it sucks. I don't. I don't even think I'm talking in the video. I think it's just me typing slowly on a notepad. Um, for some reason, I didn't have my mic on. I, I don't. I honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I was just excited that I get to do YouTube because I think it's like my one of my first videos. And but okay, enough of me talking. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.